Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about conditional probability. As you see here on the screen in the first statement, conditional probability is probability where a portion of an event is known. The example we're going to take a look at is you toss the same coin three times. Yes, very similar example we've done every time. Now you know that one of the tosses was a tail. What's the probability that all of the tosses are tails? So you're trying to answer this statement here. What's the probability that all the tosses are tails? But you know one of the tosses was a tail. This information here, knowing that one of the tosses is a tail, is what we need to interpret. Now before we do that, let's look at our possible outcomes when we're tossing three coins. These should be known very well now. We can get all three heads. We can get one tail and two heads in three different ways. We can get one head and two tails in three different ways, as you see being displayed on the screen here, and you can get all three tails. So these are all of our possible outcomes. We know these pretty well at this point, which is awesome. But we want to look at the statement here, one of the tosses was a tail. In a question, what we need to answer is which possible outcomes has, or have, I should say, at least one tail or one T. So out of all of the possible outcomes, which, and I'm writing total possible outcomes over here, sorry. Out of all of the possible outcomes we have for this scenario of flipping the same coin three times, which of them have at least one tail? Now let's highlight those, at least one tail. Well, it's not H, 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 but there's at least one tail when you get one tail and two heads, at least one tail when you get two tails and one head, and at least one tail when you get three tails in a row. That is what we have known, the known condition we have for this probability. This pink information becomes our like, new, I'm going to put it in quotations, our new total possible outcomes. What I mean by that is uh, when we're doing probability is part over whole or favorable outcomes over total possible outcomes, in conditional probability, your total possible outcomes that you're considering usually gets reduced by that known fact. So our fraction here for conditional probability, we know on the denominator that whole is going to be the new total possible outcomes. And actually let's make that pink just to really drive that fact home that the denominator here is from our new known information. And our numerator is answering the question, what's the probability that all tosses are tails? You look in the pink values and find the possible outcomes that give you all three tails. And that's only tails, tails, tails here, goes in the numerator. And I'm gonna call this our um, new favorable outcomes. Again, for conditional probability, the numerator is just the values that answer the question, all tosses or tails or what you wanna have at the end. Your denominator is uh, usually shrunk down or reduced by your known information. So in this case, our conditional probability is going to be one out of seven. But if you look at the total possible outcomes in general before that known information, it would have been one out of eight. 